very thankful right now. Coach, you've said so many times you want to win a national championship more than you want to breathe. <laughs> well, you're breathing now. Yeah. How does it feel now, breathing? Well, I hope that doesn't mean I, I'm okay to die now. <laughs> you know? uh, no, um, it feels great. Yeah, it just this was supposed to happen, and I, and I know how hard it is. And and so just because you have this great team with great talent, to watch them become a collection of talent that became a team. And there's so many positive contributions from everybody. Like, I don't even know where to start. I mean, it's, it's Paul, it's Dylan, obviously. Trey, obviously. But, I mean, there's guys that, Jared Jones. Like, I mean, we wouldn't be here. And then, you know, we kind of went with a different direction. And, you know, Josh Pearson steps up and, and goes crazy. Gavin Gidry, we didn't even have him throw a bullpen until January. And he closes out the ninth inning of the College World Series. I believe we have four major league pitchers that are hurt right now. When that happens, you don't win a national championship. And we just won a national championship. When you took over two years ago, the picture in your mind, the plan that you had for this program, obviously national championship is the goal. But does it look, has it gone exactly the way you've laid it out in your mind? There is zero arrogance when I say this. Zero. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. In what way? I, again, I know it's very simplistic, but, like, this was the place, and I probably would have came here anyways, but looking at the team that was in place, I legitimately thought our staff could help them do this and that we could find a blueprint in recruiting and developing players, the program, that could get us back here, and I'm, I'm very, very proud of that. In your mind, what have you done to this LSU program? What have you done with this program moving forward? What's now the standard? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we have a four-week delay, I guess, in, in recruiting. Uh, but I'm, I'm okay with that. I think uh, the best recruiting we could possibly do took place on this field over the last two weeks. You know, when you look at the development stories, you're going to have the number one and number two pick in the draft. And I'm so proud of those guys for that. You got guys like Nate Ackenhausen, JC guy, comes out here and beats, you know, one of the three best teams in the country, in my opinion. That's what makes this remarkable, too. We played the best team along the way every step of the NCAA tournament that we could play with Oregon State and then Kentucky in the Super Regional and then Tennessee. I mean, legit. And then Wake and then Florida. I mean, to, to win six SEC games in the NCAA tournament is, is remarkable. How happy are you for Jordan Thompson? Yeah, I love him. I'm never going to have a son, probably, so he's as close as there is to it. And, uh, yeah, that's a big-time gratitude gratitude moment right now. Look, he's only been here one year, but what kind of mark did Paul Skeens leave on this program? You can't quantify it. I mean, uh, the performance is the performance. It didn't only impact the games he pitched. It impacted the rest of the weekend, the rest of the week. But he is an unquestioned leader of this team. And uh, to do that when you only were here for 11 months, it's pretty special. Same question for Dylan Cruz. Yeah, I mean, I, I, he's one of the reasons I came here. And, um, you know, I know that may sound crazy about one player, but that's how impactful he was. I mean, four hits tonight in the championship game. I mean, hit 430 or whatever he hit. Um, yeah, I mean, you can't do it any better than he just did it for 70, 71 games. You can't do it any better. Was the plan for him to go in today at any point? Well, I'm talking about Paul Yeah, Steve. it was. So we, I mean, uh, people think I'm being, like, uh, secretive and all this, but we actually do a bunch of testing on their body, not just the arm, but, like, is it, are his hips right? Is his core right? Are his legs right? And he tested good, but I was only comfortable with about 30 pitches was the max, which is why we didn't start him. Didn't want to do it at the beginning of the game, and, I, and they see him walk off the mound, and I thought that would give Florida an uh, emotional lift. And I really trusted Thatcher. You know, I felt like Ty stuff the other night at the time that he threw was the same exact time I thought that would play at that time and I'm so proud of him. Lankford is a dude like the top three picks in the draft were on this field tonight so I mean Homer but then he he dominated the rest of the game they didn't do anything the rest of the game so unbelievable job by Thatcher Riley gave us everything we can I mean he's puking in the hotel for two days he's a winner I mean I Aaron might know, but that's like seven or eight appearances here. I mean, guy's a legend. Um, if he wasn't on the all-tournament team, that's a travesty. Um, you know, and then Gavin, just he's, he's got this and he's got that. And, uh, you know, he'll be a reason that we make it back here in the next couple of years. Thank you. <laughs>